Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, today we will be doing a uh, breaker practice examination. Um, Control of the shoulder. Here you can see the delta is atrophied. Look at the attitude of the upper limb. Here you see that it is pronated. And then um, you also need to see the pectoralis major and minor are also atrophied as well. Um, so then, obviously, we can see there is a um, Y-shaped incision scar over here. There is also a scar over here, probably corresponding to a possible chest tube. We need to, there's also a scar here as well. You need to make sure you look down in the axilla as well. And then you ask the patient to turn around, okay? And you look at the supraspinatus wasting, infraspinatus wasting as well over here. Usually there is subluxation of the um, shoulder joint, but in this case there isn't any. Right, then after that you turn the patient around to the front and here, you may want to begin first with looking at the eyes of the patient uh, to see whether there's any ptosis and he doesn't have any and you make sure you have your torch to see whether there's any meiosis and he doesn't have any and to feel for any possible and hydrosis which he doesn't have. Once you've done that, um, we start off with shoulder shrugging. So, so Okay, so there is he is able to shrug. I will give a power of four out of five. Then we turn him around again, and this time round we are going to test for winging of the scapula. So you put your hand here, so like with the pipe. Okay, looking at the spine of the scapula, see And in this case, I do not see any winging. So like the And now I'm looking at the rhomboids. Yeah, I can see the slight. Uh, depression here and I think he has some rhomboid weakness. You can always compare with the other side. Alright. Okay, then now what we will do is to do the tone. So, let me assess the tone. If you always compare. So the tone is reduced. And then the reflexes. Okay. Your sizes are reduced as well. And then now we go for power. So a uh, chip will work in here. So he cannot do. And you try and chip to like this. And you should also assess the fibers of the deltoid, the anterior and posterior. But in this case, there's no deltoid muscle anyway. And then we go for the bicep, which is what we said, which you cannot do. So then you must make sure you eliminate gravity. Okay. And you should also um, palpate the bicep, palpate to see whether there's any contraction and looking to see whether there's any fasciculation. So that's biceps and you can also do triceps at the same time, neuroceps. And there is uh, triceps is zero as well. So biceps and triceps are zero. Any night with any? Okay, so this flexion zero. Finger flexion and extension zero, grip is zero. And then we will move on to sensation. Alright. Okay, so sensation is also zero from C5 to C2. And then you need to test all signals. The rest of the time right now. Sinado. Okay, Sinado, eh? Sine. What's the Sine? Sine, quiet. So notice that patients will usually have a very strong thinner at the supraclavicular region and a less strong thinner along the um, course of the brachial plexus. So in this case, it's here. So this is important that you assess him again three months or six months from now to see whether the thinness which is here has progressed more distally, right? And then uh, you can test for chest expansion. Right now first. 
Okay, first, war. Okay, um, to see whether there's possibility uh, of phrenic nerve involvement. And you should look here to see whether there's any scarring uh, at the surrender donor side. Mm. Okay, the, the last thing that you can do is also to see for the uh, pulse, for the vascular pulse, the radial pulse, which I cannot feel in our patient. All right. And you can also see there is um, some sort of hyperemia as well. Okay. 